uh, this video tutorial will cover observer design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram before watch this video tutorial please log into my channel and watch observer design pattern introduction and uh, observer design pattern real time example video tutorial uh, then come and watch uh, this tutorial so that you will understand uh, this tutorial very clearly first we will see the class diagram of uh, observer design pattern uh, in observer design pattern there are two important components uh, first component is observer and uh, second component is subject and uh, you can see a uh, interface observer and it has update method uh, this interface observer will be implemented by uh, concrete observer and uh, uh, concrete observers will uh, provide implementation of update method okay and uh, in the left side you can see interface subject it has uh, three methods uh, first method is register observer second method is uh, remove observer third method is notify observers and uh, these three methods will be implemented by concrete uh, subject okay uh, suppose say uh, observer wants to get uh, notification from subject uh, whenever some state changed okay then what observer has to do is it has to uh, registered uh, with the uh, subject uh, to register uh, observer with the subject uh, it has to call register observer method after some point of time uh, the particular observer which was uh, registered in the subject don't want to get any notification then what the particular observer has to do is it has to call uh, remove observer uh, so that it can unregister from the subject so that it won't get any notification okay and uh, third method is uh, notify observers so this method is used uh, whenever uh, any state change happen in the subject uh, the subject will uh, notify to all the observers okay by calling update method so what this notify observers will do is uh, suppose say there are five uh, observers are registered in the subject so it it will iterate through that uh, uh, list of uh, observer and get uh, each observer object one by one and call the update method so this way it will send a notification to the observers so this is the class diagram of uh, observer design pattern uh, next we will see the sequence diagram of, of observer design pattern uh, so here uh, uh, like we discussed uh, there are two components right one is observer another one is uh, subject and here you can see uh, the observer wants to get notification so it attached to the subject me meaning it is uh, registered to the subject okay and uh, subject will uh, send notification to all the registered observers whenever uh, there is some uh, state change happened so you can see uh, this object uh, change some status in subject so when the state change in the subject uh, subject is sending notification to the register observer by calling update method that is what you are seeing here so first observer attached and this object change the status in the uh, subject when the state is changed uh, the subject uh, send notification to the register observer by calling the update method uh, suppose uh, later point of time uh, this observer don't want to get uh, any notification from subject means uh, it has to detach from the subject okay or unregister from the subject that is what it is showing here and uh, this is about um, observer design pattern class diagram and sequence diagram and uh, i have created a separate video for uh, observer design pattern implementation and i have provided the sample code so if you want to understand more about uh, this design pattern uh, please watch that video tutorial also and uh, thanks for watching bye